Today I'm going to talk about chatbots, DM automation, and how to get more conversions for your links. But first, I want to say it's great to be back in the saddle making these marketing videos. I do apologize for my brief hiatus, but the truth is I just ran out of things to say. I mean, what do you want me to talk about? Threads? Anyway, I am ready to bring the marketing knowledge to you, and if you like that I'm back, like this video and sub to the channel because we bring value on Continuing Ed every single week, and it will encourage me to make more. How about this? Give me 100 likes and I'll give you 100 videos. All right. All right, guess what? Getting people to click on a link on social media is nearly impossible. Just saying link in bio is like a death sentence for your post engagement and the conversion rate on getting someone to stop scrolling, view your post, read your caption, and then go up to your bio and actually click on the link is less than 1%. Even Instagram stories where you can do more direct calls to action with links does not produce great conversion. Putting a link in your story also kills the engagement and it is so dependent on the algorithm that day and how your story was already performing. Oh, and have you ever tried putting links on Facebook? We have over 180,000 followers on the Broke Agent Facebook page and when we promote a, a YouTube link or a blog link on Facebook, sometimes it gets zero likes and like two people clicking. It's pathetic and it makes me actually wanna fight someone. But think about it. What is the goal of all these social platforms? To keep you on the platform for as long as possible so they can run ads. If your post directs people off platform or you plug a bunch of links, the social media gods will curse you, crush your engagement, and drain the life of your account and your eyes. Look at me, I look like Darth Sidious right now. So now that you know the problem, links suck, what's the solution? Here's the best one that I've seen and it's called MiniChat, the number one Facebook Messenger chatbot. It automates getting and keeping customers happy so you have more time for everything else, at least that's what it says on their site. They also do SMS text messages, they automate interactive conversations and Instagram direct messages, Facebook Messenger, and more. Basically, if you've seen an account, possibly the BAM or the BA account that says something like comment the word BAM, we'll send you a link to download one of our eBooks. That's from MiniChat. So here's how it works. First, you pick what you want to direct people's attention to. For BAM, our media company, we use MiniChat to get people to sign up for webinars, download our eBooks, get discounts, and invite them to events. For example, for real estate agents, this can be an invite to a client event, sneak peeks to a new listing, or more preferably something of value like a seller's guide or informational PDF. For example, you could do a real about a first-time buyer's guide checklist and in the caption you can say something like comment the word buyer below and I'll send you a PDF of your checklist. Now when anyone comments the word buyer it triggers the chatbots to DM them the link to download. You can also have the chatbot comment back to everyone letting them know that that link is now in their messages. Do you realize how incredible this is? You're creating FOMO with your posts, you're giving them something of value, then you're giving yourself double the engagement with all the comments and the comment backs, you're starting conversations which then leads to conversions in the DMs. It's beautiful. By the way, you can also do this for Instagram stories. You can even have trigger words that you can permanently keep in your bio, like DM me the word dog for a cute picture of my golden doodle. Or in your stories, you can say respond to the word bam or comment the word seller below and I'll send you whatever it is you want to send them. You get the same incredible effect that you do in stories that happens in your feed. You get replies to your stories, which boosts your engagement and then your open rates and DMs is like 90%. So you're starting conversations, you're getting people to click on the link and you're improving your engagement. Like I said, it's beautiful. Now I haven't even scratched the surface on how to use this, but if you wanna see how we actually set up MiniChat and go through the steps, you gotta join BAMX. This is our private community where we have exclusive live streams, monthly courses, my Instagram course, our entire course on MiniChat, and much, much more. So use code marketing for 10% off. There's a link down in the description. Join BAMX, literally a cup of coffee a month. If you're not in it yet, what the hell are you doing? Link in the description. All right, here's some things to consider when using mini chat. Don't have them comment or DM a word that is hard to spell or might be broken up into two words because then you might not trigger the bot. You can simply have different variations spelling to combat against that, but it's always easiest to use a simple word. Even if you say something like comment the word YouTube, sometimes that gets broken into two words and then you don't get that conversion. Keep the word short and simple. We do this all the time for our webinars. We say comment the word BAM to receive the invite or DM me the word yes if you want to see the replay of that webinar. If you really want to make sure they get it right, have them comment or DM a number. That way they can't mess it up. Comment the word one, two, three, and I'll send you an invite to my buyer seminar that's going to be boring as hell. Also, here's another tip. Don't overuse mini chat. Like any sort of conversion effort, DM automation will also have diminishing returns if you use it nonstop. It's got to feel exciting and exclusive when you use it. You can't say comment the word balls and I'll send you a link to a property website that's already in your bio that's already online. It's gotta bring something of value. Now I would love to hear from you. Are you using DM chat automation? What are you using it for? 
you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it and subbing to the channel. And of course, join BAMX for a mini chat walkthrough. There's a link down in the description. If you like this video, you wanna see more videos about how I implement social media strategy, I got more videos right here. See you next week or maybe never again.